Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler, back with another jig tying video for the week. Today we're tying a shad dart jig in plasma fire. We'll start out with an eighth ounce shad dart jig head, powder coated in Protec Red. We'll lay down just a little bit of clear nail polish to act as our glue for our thread. And we're using a black thread here in 210 denier. Work that down to the shank of the hook off the tag end continue wrapping down until the thread is even with just about the point of the hook and we're going to be using a chartreuse marabou feather plume for this you really don't have to put a body on these shad dart jigs because the lead head itself acts as a body so we'll just measure this marabou out about the length of the jig itself a couple wraps to get it tied down and in place Once we've got the thing pulled into place, we could trim it off with the scissors. Probably need a sharper pair. And then with these shad dart jigs, you just take and very carefully use your thread to tame off the uh, marabou feather. We just want to cover up pretty much all of the feather. That way it's not shining through except for the tail. That red to black body to chartreuse tail is going to have a good contrast in the water. I've used these before for skipjack, guys. These things are great when you're fishing for skipjack. Get our thread wrapped in there. And it's time to finish this off. We'll about do about a three or four turn whip finish. Tie it off, clip off the thread, and we're going to coat that thread with some more of the clear nail polish. Guys, if you have a UV resin, it would be a really good time to use a UV resin on this as opposed to the nail polish, but I'm using what I have available to me at the time. Make sure to get all those thread fibers good and coated, let that soak in, let the jig dry up you're good to go your plasma fire jig is ready to go off and catch some fish as always thank you for watching see you next week on our next jig tie video